Marfinier. You said Malgus wanted to talk. Yes, while we're refitting the Republic cruiser. You have done well, all of you. Had we such strength in the last war, the Treaty of Coruscant might not have been needed. We're honored, my lord. But now, a greater challenge awaits. I have studied the information from the Republic vessel, and I am now certain of the Foundry's nature. What have you discovered, Lord Malgus? The Foundry specifications match those of three other space stations known by history. Each of these legendary stations could manufacture technology on a massive scale. One Xenoformed planets, another built fleets of ships. The Starforges? The Foundry creates endless armies of droids, commanded by the Foundry's Jedi Master, a man very likely mad after his long imprisonments. If this man controls the Foundry's armies, we need to know how he thinks. At his prime, he was a powerful warrior, a general and a skilled tactician. A legend to some. Now, I cannot say. Moff Veneer, you may proceed. The Foundry is built into an asteroid surrounded by the Republic fleet. The cruiser we captured should pass their blockade without interference. You will fly the cruiser directly to the Foundry and lead the ground assault, while our ships jump from hyperspace to engage the fleet. The Foundry will be ours, and you will eliminate the Jedi Master. I'll make sure the assault goes as planned. You make sure to take out the fleet. Moff Veneer has my complete faith. Glory to the Sith, and to the Emperor. Helmsman, set course for the Foundry. Acknowledged. Laying in course. Any words to the crew before the assault? Republic seeks to destroy us, but we will wrest their weapon from their hands. Remember this day. Course set. Engaging hyperdrive. Transmitting authorization codes to the Republic fleet. They're allowing us to pass the blockade. Approaching the foundry. Receiving transmission. This is landing control to Republic Cruiser Doran Sky. You're six hours off schedule. Is there a problem? We had to adjust course to avoid an Imperial patrol. Nothing to be concerned about. Understood. You have permission to dock. You can wait aboard the ship while we run the final security checks. We're docked. Estimate two minutes until our fleet arrives and the battle begins. If I may be so bold, I suggest you take the offensive. Imperial <laughs> ships have jumped out of hyperspace. Lock down all sections. Repeat, lock down. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Time we talked. I am the master of the foundry, once the Emperor's prisoner, now the man you've come to destroy. Open this door and face me. I don't want to fight you. Three hundred years ago, I found your empire in the stars and stood against the Emperor himself. I was betrayed, defeated. I paid the price as the Emperor ravaged my mind over centuries. But I gave him nothing. I am proof that the dark side can be resisted. You say you're a Jedi. You say you fought the Emperor. In my time, servants of the Sith invaded the Republic. I gave up everything to seek their masters, and I discovered Droman Kass. I've seen the Emperor's corruption. He and everything he's built must be destroyed, or the galaxy will suffer forever. You don't need to die with him. Surrender, and you can wait out this war as a comfortable prisoner. Talk to me. We can work for peace together. I've been betrayed one time too many. You leave me no choice but to turn the foundry against you. These machines are extermination droids. My infinite army. Farewell. units converge on intruders. Psycholocutor and observer specialties report to tactical control. <laughs> during our hunt. I am HK-47, the Master's most faithful ally. Once a mere assassin droid, it is now my burden and joy to command the Foundry's mechanical armies. It's time to turn over the extermination units. Rejection. I would not advise taking control, given their current programming. The extermination droids are my master's crowning achievement. They are equipped with bioscanners capable of detecting Sith genetic material. Any organics with Sith ancestry will be slaughtered. This includes 97.8% of the Imperial population. This was never about winning the war. You're talking about genocide. Emphasis. 97.8% efficient genocide. Commentary. As much as I'm looking forward to butchering our enemies planet by planet, I have missed the personal touch. Your bones will make excellent trophies to commemorate my return to assassination. Prejudice set to maximum. Commentary. I hope my master 
Commander will appreciate my efforts here. <laughs> After all, activating assassination protocols level two. Extermination units converge. Cruisers have been destroyed, but they're not retreating.
That HK unit you destroyed. You waited loyally for 300 years. I can rebuild it. But it won't be the same. Can't you see you're on the wrong side? The Emperor is dead. For you, for me, for the galaxy. Listen to yourself. If you use the Foundry to exterminate billions, how are you any better? I'm doing this to save lives, not for glory. I will mourn for the dead and do what I must. As a young Jedi, I went to war. I accepted violence and darkness, and the Emperor called to me from across the galaxy. He made me a Sith Lord and named me Darth Revan. I killed for him. I turned on the Republic. But I have found redemption. 300 years ago, the Republic didn't know the Empire existed. How did you get the attention of the Emperor? I discovered hints of your Empire on dead lost worlds, Korriban and Malachor. The Emperor felt it, and he summoned me. I nearly destroyed the Republic, and that nearly destroyed me. When the Jedi returned me to the light, my memory was shattered. It took me years to track and confront the Emperor again. I tried to end him. And he murdered my companions and locked me away. For three centuries, you've been steeping in hate. Now that you're free... All those years in his prison, I could feel him in my mind, drawing on my connection to the Force. But I was in his mind too, fighting him. Only I've been both Jedi and Sith, and found clarity in the Force. Only I understand him. And his death is my responsibility. Do you think you're the only Jedi who's ever fallen? You're one of thousands, Revan. And you're more deluded than most. Think what you want. It doesn't matter. I've saved the Republic twice before. I've fought Mandalores and armies of the dark side. You won't stop me. Turn and run. <laughs> you want some of this? The Empire will become dust. I will make it so. Ah. This is station control to the Imperial fleet. The Foundry is ours. Excellent work, my friend. We lost good men in the fleet battle, but we're mopping up the last of the Republic ships now. I assume the Jedi Master has also been eliminated? 
That Jedi Master used to be a Sith called Darth Revan. Yes. That's a matter we should discuss in person. As soon as we're secure, we'll conference with Darth Malgus aboard the flagship. You have my congratulations and my admiration. Fenir out. The battle is won, my lord. The foundry is ours. And it shall be a fine weapon, once wielded properly. This is how the Empire will prevail, not only through superior armament, but through superior individuals. Without intelligence, we could never have struck such a blow or defeated the heretic Revan. I'm on it. Our teams are going over the foundry. It'll take some work, but everything should be salvageable. Even the HK unit, if we bother. It may have useful memories, and it could be upgraded. Regardless, we have a new army, and a victory for the ages. One to prove no would-be Sith or Jedi Master is a match for the Empire. Celebrations have begun on Dromon Kass, and soon the cheers of the people will become a battle cry as the true war begins. We've hurt the Republic. It doesn't need to go any further. So long as one world resists, the Empire is not complete. Enjoy the fruits of your success. With your help, the galaxy will become a much different place.